at this ASCO 2023, I will be presenting the first results from Cartitude 4, which is a phase 3 clinical trial evaluating siltacaptogen autolucel or siltacel versus standard of care regimens in patients with linalidomide refractory multiple myeloma. In this, in this study, we included patients refractory to linalidomide and having one to three prior lines of therapy. Patients are randomized to standard of care, which included two highly effective standard of care regimens, namely diratumumab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone, or pomalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone, in, based on the physician's choice. Patient randomized to silta cell arm underwent apheresis bridging therapy with one or more cycles with either PVD or DPD, lymphodepletion before receiving a single silta cell infusion. The bridging therapy was designed to be the same as standard of care arm, either D PVD or DPD based on physician's choice. The, time from, the, the primary endpoint of the study was progression-free survival and number of secondary endpoints were assessed that included overall response rate, complete response rate, MRD negativity rates, patient reported outcomes, and adverse events. We are reporting the results at a median follow-up of 16 months. The study showed a significant reduction in the risk of death or progression compared to standard of care by 74%. The hazard ratio was 0.26. The median follow-up, the median uh, pro progression for survival was not reached in the cell to cell arm whereas it was 11.8 months in the standard of care arm. The 12-month PFS rate was 76% versus 49%. In addition, we also showed that Silta cell led to significantly higher responses and increased depth of response versus standard of care. The overall response rate was 85% in the Silta cell arm versus 67% in the standard of care arm. This complete response and better were 73% versus 22% and the MRD negativity rates were 61% in the cell to cell arm versus 16% in the standard of care arm. Regarding safety, the data from Cartitude 4 are consistent with the non-profile of cell to cell. Grade 3, 4 treatment emergent adverse events occurred in almost all patients in both the arms were mostly hematologic and recovered by day 30. In terms of CAR-T specific adverse events, we saw a lower incidence and severity of CRS, ICANS, and other neurotoxicities like MNTs compared to Cartitude 1, which is a study that used Silta cell in three or more prior lines of therapy. So in conclusion, our data suggests that compared to standard of care, Silta cell is highly effective and provide very superior efficacy responses with manageable safety profile. The, the PFS the hazard ratio of 0.26 is one of the best that we have seen in patients in this setting in the randomized uh, uh, clinical trial for multiple myeloma. Cellular cell also lead to increased rate and depth of response. And use of cellular cell in early lines may lead to improved tolerability. And all this suggests that cellular cell could be a new standard of care for patients with linear refractory multiple myeloma after the first relapse.